What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and in today's video I'm going to explain why hard work and patience will not make you rich or successful. And I'm going to explain what will. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. Alright guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Chandler Smith and I'm 31 years old. I've been investing in real estate for the last 8 years and I currently own over $25 million worth of real estate. I would say that my net worth is probably somewhere between 12 and $13 million. And the reason that I decided to make this video is the other day I was out working on a project and I saw an older gentleman that is an absolute workhorse. This guy has worked probably 60 to 70 hours every week for his entire life. And that's been a long time. And when we're talking 25, 30 years, he has been so patient. He's worked so hard. And he was talking to me just about how he was discouraged because he hadn't really accomplished what he wanted to in life. He wanted to spend his time doing a lot of other things. He was burnt out, he was worn out, he was discouraged, and it really kind of hit me. I didn't really have any advice for him. Um, I just kind of agreed with him and tried to make him feel good for the hard work he had done. But in my core, this kind of bugged me because here's this guy that's worked extremely hard, has done a lot of work, been really patient through that entire process, and yet he wasn't able to get the end result that he desired. So I went home and it kind of tormented me because I just felt bad for this guy. I really felt like he deserved more. And I also just felt completely overwhelmed with my own situation, a lot of the blessings that I have in my life when it comes to my financial situation, my time freedom, and really everything else that my career has given me. So after thinking about this, it bugged me and I just sat down and started writing notes on what could have potentially caused this and what I personally think this man could have done differently so that he could get the results that he wanted because it was bugging me. And after going through and making these notes, I decided to share them with you because I truly believe that there are so many people out there that work extremely hard and they continue to grind and push through a lot of hard things with a lot of patience, hoping that it will yield a result that it never does. And in this video, I'm going to explain what I believe this gentleman and thousands or even hundreds of thousands of other people could change in their life that would push them over the top to get the results that they want. So here's what I came up with. Number one, take risk to put yourself in a situation where you are paid for what you do and not paid for your time. So many people expect to get to some end goal when their hourly wage isn't changing. So it doesn't matter how hard they work or how patient they are, they're gonna continue to put in tons of time and get the same results. You've gotta find a way to start a business or get a commission job or put yourself in an environment where your income can be exponential because you've put in all of this time, not stay stagnant through all of that time. Number two is you need to learn how to duplicate yourself. So once you've acquired a skill, you've got to find a way to duplicate that or to exponentially grow whatever you're doing. Now, this can be done through recruiting in a job and getting paid commissions for recruiting or growing their business, or it can be done by having your own business and finding a way to duplicate people within your business so that you can scale that business. But you've got to find a way to scale yourself so that again, your income is not tied to your time. Number three, you have to live intentionally with an end goal in mind. So often people just get stuck in the hamster wheel and they don't really know what they want for an end result but they do. They just never take the time to sit down and say, hey, here is the life that I want and here are the steps that it would be required to be able to get there. They're not willing to reverse engineer and say, hey, if I stay in this dead end job, I'm never going to get what I want. So it's uncomfortable, it's risky, but I need to step away from what I'm doing and do something different. Once you've done that, that leads us to our next thing and that is you have to be willing to say no to the things that don't get you to your end goal. And so when people come to you and they want you to do this, that, or the other thing, or you have a job that's expecting all of these things out of you, if they're not getting you where you wanna be, you've gotta have the courage to say no. Now, for you, this might be one big no to completely change what you're doing, but after that, it's gonna require you to say no to a lot of things. There are so many different opportunities out there for you to be able to become 
successful and make a lot of money. But if you say yes to all of them, you're not going to be successful and you're not going to be able to make a lot of money. So figure out what your dialed in focus is, what your end goal is, reverse engineer it, and then say no to absolutely everything else. Finally, there is one more point and it's kind of a couple points that I believe were the biggest turning point in my life. And that is that I am someone that now I control my situation. I don't let my environment control my situation. I assume that I can control everything. Now, is this completely true? No, it's not. There are lots of things that are out of my control. However, that's not how I view them. Literally everything I'm going to look at and I'm gonna say if there's any possible way that I can control this, I'm going to control it. Now, obviously there are certain things that are completely out of your control. My wife getting cancer, completely out of my control. However, everything after her getting cancer, we feel like that's been within our control. We can change our diet, we can change our lifestyle, we can change a lot of things to try and increase our odds. When we got news that my wife had cancer, we immediately went into the doctor and said, hey, the surgery is what's next. That's what they told us. They wanted to schedule it for a month and a half out. And this is a cancer that's been growing inside of her. We know every day is crucial. And I would not leave the doctor's office until we got her scheduled that week. This put us in an extremely uncomfortable situation, put the doctor in an uncomfortable situation, put the secretary in an uncomfortable situation. But I looked at our circumstances and I said, no, this is something that I can control. And I'm sorry, whatever we need to do, whatever we need to pay, whoever we need to talk to, we are getting her in for surgery this week so that we can get this fixed. And we didn't leave until that happened. So we went from being scheduled a month and a half out for her surgery to remove a section of her bowel that had cancer to getting it done that week. And it took a lot of work, but that is one of the many situations in my life where I've just said, look, I'm going to control this because it's something that is within my control. And I think when this really flipped in my mind is I had been someone that had worked really hard my whole life. I had been someone that had been really patient through that hard work and not gotten what I wanted to get as an end result. And then I took a job as a door-to-door -door salesman because I couldn't get hired anywhere else. I went out and got my face smashed in for two weeks straight without selling anyone. And something clicked in my brain where I said, you know what, this door, I'm not going to walk away until I sell them. And I got a sale. After that, every door, Moving forward, I said, I'm not going to walk away from this door until I get the result that I want. Now, do I get the result that I want on every single door? No, I don't. There are lots of people that say no and say no and say no and say no and say no. And eventually the door is shut in my face and I have to go to the next door. But guess what? That next door, I say, there is no way I'm going to leave this door unless I get the result that I want. So that even when I've gotten failures, even when I've fallen on my face, even when I haven't gotten the end result that I want, I can trick my brain into saying, nope, I'm in a new situation. This is a clean slate, it's fresh, and I'm gonna do whatever I need to to get the end result that I want. I'm going to control my environment in any way possible. I would have accounts where I would set up the customer and the technician would show up and the technician would say something, blow up the deal. And now once again, I have the choice of, do I control this situation or do I say, oh, it's out of my control? Well, guess what? I call up the customer. I call up the technician. I'd say, hey, how do we resolve this? I'm gonna be over there in five minutes. I'm gonna help us figure this out. And I can't tell you how many sales that I pushed to get that then I was able to push to save because I was willing to do what other people weren't. And this was something where that little action or that little taking on of responsibility ended up giving me massive results that first year. And I ended up breaking the rookie sales record and I ended up making $96,000 as a 21 year old kid. Now, the reason I share this example with you is this is how I've chosen to view every aspect of my life ever since then. And so many of these people that work so hard, that deserve so much, are unwilling to say, I deserve this and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. If this was a jar full of water, I would tell you so many people fill the jar up all the way to the top and there's one last push that had they pushed, the jar would overflow and it would cause a myriad of other things to happen in their life 
that would get them where they want to be, but they get right to the end, they've put in all the work and they don't make that last push of controlling their environment and not being controlled by their environment. So this is my list of the things that I believe if this older gentleman would do, it would put him in a completely different place where he could have the life that he wants, but instead he's chosen to continue to work extremely hard and to be patient in hopes of an end result that is never going to come until he personally does that last push of controlling his environment and doing these other things that I've talked about. Now, this is a very bold out there video because there are so many people that are saying, Chandler, you don't understand my circumstances and you never will. And here's the truth. As long as you stay in that thought process and that mindset and you're unwilling to do these things, you're going to continue to get the same result that you've always got. So if you're one of those people that you feel like you are a hard worker, you have been extremely patient and you deserve more out of life, I'm begging you to do these things because I truly believe that if you do, it will alter your life forever and you'll start to get the results that you actually want. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. And honestly, I really hope that it helps you because I see so many people out there that they do deserve more because they put in the work. They've worked way harder than I have in my life for way longer than I have and yet they don't have the things that I do have. They don't have the freedom, they don't have the wealth, they don't have the things that I know that they want, but they're missing. And so I really hope that this video helps push you over the edge. So thanks so much guys, and have a great day.